welcome back dear friends i hope all of you are doing great so today we are going to discuss about distillations and this is the part one of the problem in which we are going to simulate shortcut distillation column in aspen hyces and using the shortcut distillation results we are going to perform rigorous distillation uh, uh, performance analysis in the second part of this video okay so let's start with the first uh, with the problem statement uh, here we are going to deal with the multi-component shortcut distillation and uh, the calculation method that Hysis will use to perform this calculation is uh, Fenske Underwood Gilliland uh, method and here we have some information uh, uh, that is the minimum information that we must have to perform shortcut distillation to have the initial estimates like uh, the minimum reflux ratio, minimum number of stages, actual number of stages and um, optimum feed stage location. So these are the four different uh, uh, questions that will be answered using shortcut distillation method okay so what is the available data for this uh, problem statement we have the components starting from propane and ending and heptane and uh, it's been specified that the components uh, less than carbon number five are light key components and uh, the components with uh, carbon number six above they are heavy key components and their mole fraction is given okay and it is uh, uh, it is said that the feed that is a saturated liquid at 80 degrees c temperature is uh, uh, entering into a distillation column with the flow rate of 25 k mole per hour and uh, the in distillate the heavy key component should not be more than one percent in mole mole uh, ratio mole of uh, in mole fraction or mole percent and the light key component should not be uh, more than one mole percent in bottoms okay so these are our boundary limits to calculate these numbers okay so let's move to the high c software to solve this problem so now we are in high c's environment and i already specified all the components propane isobutane uh, isopentane hexane and heptane and uh, for this problem statement we choose the property package that is the ping robinson because we are dealing with pure hydrocarbons and it would be a very nice property package to solve this kind of uh, calculations now let's move to the simulation environment and we have to build uh, the flow sheet for that just click on model palette window and from here go to the separators and from separator click on shortcut column okay and place it into the uh, 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 simulation canvas double click on this column and uh, i will say the inlet is feed okay and top product phase is liquid so it means we are going to calculate this uh, calculation in total condenser mode okay condenser duty i will say condense q distillate i will say d uh, reboiler duty i will say reboil q and the bottoms is b okay then it says unknown key components okay for that go to the design and from design go to parameters and here we have to specify light key uh, in bottom and uh, heavy key in distillate first we have to select the component so the which one is the light key component as a representative of this problem so the light key component is isopentane okay so the isopentane and the heavy key component is n hexane and the mole fraction uh, of light key component in bottom should not be uh, greater than 0 0.01 and similarly 
for heavy key component in distillate should not be 0.01 here it says the uh, condenser pressure and reboiler pressure okay and it's also given here in uh, uh, the top pressure that is the condenser 3.6 bar and the bottom pressure is 3.7 bar so let's specify this so 3.6 bar and reboiler 3.7 bar okay so external uh, reflux ratio we are not going to define this this uh, span will calculate first minimum reflux ratio and then uh, we will multiply i will tell you how just close this one okay double click on feed and just specify the feed so we have a temperature that is uh, 80 degree c we do not know pressure but we know the molar flow rate that is 2500 k mol per hour and the uh, feed is a saturated liquid so just press zero okay and then go to the composition tab and uh, here uh, we have to specify composition that is uh, 0 0.05 okay so 0 0.05 then this window will appear and then 0 0.1436 0 0.1 0 0.4 0 0.36 and the last one is 0 0.09 okay just press okay now the feed is fully specified so double click on it it says unknown external reflux ratio go to parameters you can see that we have here minimum reflux ratio and uh, the external reflux ratio should be always higher than minimum reflux ratio okay and uh, the optimum uh, number for the external reflux ratio is between 1.2 to 1.5 percent of uh, the minimum reflux ratio okay so i will go with a uh, calculator so the minimum is 0 0.767 multiply by 1.2 okay and so it is 0 0.9204 9204 when i press enter you can see it turns green and uh, uh, our shortcut distillation column is fully converged or simulated so let's go to the results that we need for that go to the performance so here we have a minimum number of trays that is 8.6 we will take it 9 so actual number of trays is 21.7 we will take it 22 optimum feed stage is 10 we will take it 11 condenser temperature and reboiler temperature is also given okay rectifying section vapor flow rate and liquid flow rate is given similarly stripping section vapor and liquid flow rate is also given condenser duty is given reboiler duty is also given so i just uh, write all these uh, uh, uh results here minimum reflux ratio external reflux ratio minimum number of stage actual number of stage feed stage location top temperature and bottom temperature with condenser and reboiler duty so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to perform rigorous distillation uh, of the same problem okay stay tuned until next video bye bye